the turmoil being caused by a planned turnpike extension in our state. And folks are not happy. Many worry they're going to lose their homes because of the plan. Those folks taking their concerns to a public transportation meeting today. News 4's Ashley Moss was there and she joins us live. Ashley. OTA is saying they're ready to connect with the community about their concerns, but opponents making a bold statement at today's gathering, saying the justifications for this big project don't exist and the impact could be disastrous. But he's not answering my question. I'm just an Oklahoma citizen whose home is being taken. Outraged Oklahoman standing before transportation officials Tuesday, calling them to account for what they say is turning out to be a disastrous future plan for highway infrastructure and expansion in the state. Why these routes? They make no economic sense. They make no environmental sense. The proposed routes are geologically destructive. The proposed routes are a disaster in terms of human impacts. Opponents hoping their presence at Tuesday's meeting will at least help delay the program from moving forward before proper environmental, humanitarian, and economic studies are done. Why would OTA run the risk of having to pay an additional $60 million to re engineer the routes if the environmental assessment reports could potentially come back with significant impacts? I am asking you to put the brakes on this project. Transportation Secretary Tim Gantz saying the time, land, and money for the transportation system was a necessary and long-term solution. We don't have the tax-supported resources to fill in those gaps, and the Turnpike Authority has done that very effectively. Also saying, yes, routes have been selected, but they're not etched in stone. We did our best to understand where the locations were going to be just so we could begin the discussion. Up next, Oklahomans who oppose those turnpikes gathering support with a letter they hope to present next week to the Council of Bond Oversight, asking them to decline OTA's request for interim finances for the Access Oklahoma program until those additional impact studies and surveys are completed.